Hello world, my name is Brandon Jacobson and welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is going to follow my adventures as a novice to intermediate hobby programmer as I try to build a digital assistant like Jarvis from Iron Man. I'm completely self-taught, mainly through YouTube videos. Um, but before we get too far, let me demonstrate what I've done so far. I'm using Python and PyCharm. I've implemented PYTTSX. I don't know how people normally say that, but it's the Python text-to-speech application and speech recognition to capture some commands and also some interface ability. Uh, I even got it to interface with my Arduino board, uh, but that'll be in an upcoming video. So for now, let's check it out. And yes, I have called it Jarvis, but once my family chooses a name, we'll switch it. I just, we need to come up with a good name because when you say, hey, so-and-so, it needs to be something good. And my son has a bunch of silly names, and I just don't see us saying, hey, silly name all day long. So without further ado, let me play this. What's up? Who is this? Brandon. Please enter the security code. So eventually I want this to be facial recognition or thumbprint or something of that nature, maybe voice recognition. But for now, I'll just enter password. And no, this isn't the official password. This is just for the YouTube channel. Admin code activated. How can I help you? Introduce yourself. I am Jarvis. A digital assistant designed by Brandon Jacobson. Open Google. Goodbye. I can't do that. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. So you can see there's still some tweaks I need to do. Let me show you one more time what happens if I put the incorrect password. What's up? Who is this? Brandon. Please enter the security code. Going to enter your mom. Incorrect password. Please enter the security code. Okay, now I'll enter the right one. Admin code activated. How can I help you? Open Facebook. Bye. Goodbye. So it's a little slow, but I think that's because I'm recording a video right now. So probably not the most impressive thing you've seen, but it's just the start. This isn't going to be a tutorial series where I type and teach and show you how to install because I barely have enough knowledge to do to code this. And then programming to me is like learning a new language. Uh, you have to type it yourself so you can get used to errors and troubleshooting. I try to learn Spanish and I make mistakes all the time. And each time I make a mistake, I actually learn more than doing it right. For example, just to use the PYTTSX and the speech recognition, you have to install Pi Audio. Uh, that's hard to do on Windows. Uh, you have to find a file called whl.whl and you get it from this website that has all of them. And then you have to save it in this very exact folder. And then the installation command called pip install will do it for you. So uh, there are so many YouTube videos on how to do that. This won't be one of those. Um, I will show snippets of my code, but I won't be loading it onto a GitHub site. As I, knew, as I learn new applications, I'll continue implementing it into this central program. So I know a lot of YouTube channels show them separately, but this one's going to be learn something new and then add it to this so I can interface with it. And so this central program, the Jarvis, if you will, it's going to serve several purposes. The first, I wanted to use it for my Jarvis. Uh, I want to implement machine and deep learning. 
um, AI of sorts to interact with the internet, websites, Twitter, things of that. And I watch a lot of the YouTuber Sent Dex, S-E-N-T-D-E-X. And that's where I go to learn a lot about that. I just finished his series about AI in StarCraft II. It's amazing. Next, I want to build a chatbot for my own family. But instead of using this computerized voice, I want it to be me. So I will import my own voice somehow. I don't know how to do that. Lastly, I want to uh, implement this central program with all my home automation, um, an Iron Man-like suit, drones, RC cars, and just everything like that. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from the YouTuber Hacksmith. You should definitely check that out. So the purpose of this YouTube channel is for people to help me as I build this community because computer programmers help each other. It's amazing. I've been watching it for five years. I do a lot of VBA script with Excel and you can always find what you need just by Googling it. So if you got a YouTube channel, then subscribe and go ahead and tell everybody where yours is in my comment section. But let's be honest, the real reason why I want this YouTube channel is to earn money off of YouTube and get some free stuff from advertisers. So when I get to that part and past 25 subscribers, uh, I'll be excited for that. So I hope you like this video and I hope you follow along on my path. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye world.